let, but maybe, Ralph, maybe yeah. it's an, an issue that, uh, you know, this, this person, this wonderful uh, young person has 10 million TikTok followers. Ralph. Oh, no. And, you no. Mean the and, and some, of the, people, some of the people who were, you know, shooting up their beer that they They're, bought with their own money maybe <laughs> didn't have as million. Well, I, I didn't have as I, many followers as the other people. I also thought it was genuinely a smart move by Bud Light. I, like, oh, yes. They need to make inroads with the LGBTQ community, who, I'm sorry, tends to like craft beer and people. skinny cocktails, and young not people. Bud Light. <laughs> so it's like young reaching people. a community that's probably not drinking enough Bud Light, well, and, and it was she's to, a great person to go through. It was to congratulate her for a yes. milestone yes. of a year being <laughs> more authentic to yes. herself, and I thought that said a lot about the PR for Budweiser. <laughs> Congratulate her for a yes. milestone yes. of a year being <laughs> more authentic to yes. herself, and I thought that said a lot about the PR for Budweiser. <laughs> Genuinely a smart move by Bud Light. Oh, really? Uh, take a look at the latest numbers on beer sales. Though we can't directly tie the boycott to the a decline in sales of Bud Light. Well, you see the numbers. Anheuser-Busch CEO Brendan Whitworth saying, we never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over beer. Bud Light's marketing director has said the brand is in decline and needs to evolve and be more inclusive. So, I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. Hi, impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. You maniac! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you! God! I also thought it people. was genuinely a smart move by Bud Light. I like, know, yes. they need to.